Welcome to our channel Auto Age. Huawei's foray into the automotive industry has garnered both enthusiasts and skeptics. The journey of Huawei in the automotive realm resembles a technological carnival, posing a thrilling challenge to the future of transportation. However, don't be deceived by this display of brilliance. It's not a random occurrence but a result of years of technological accumulation and unwavering exploration spirit. You might be wondering, how did Huawei suddenly venture into the automotive industry? How did this telecom giant become a newcomer in the automotive world? Today, let's unveil the mystery behind this technological marvel and explore how Huawei is taking on European and American car manufacturers. Stirring up the automotive market, Huawei has consistently stated externally, we don't build cars ourselves, we help other automakers build good cars. However, in the field of automobiles, Huawei has been strategically positioning itself for over 10 years, and it has extensively self-developed technologies. Internally, the company's commitment to car manufacturing is currently among the highest priorities. So, how has Huawei been involved in car manufacturing over these years? What initiatives have they undertaken? What is the future potential of Huawei's car manufacturing model? Can they replicate the success they achieved with Huawei smartphones? To begin, let's go back to 2009, often hailed as the first year of car networking in China. During this period, major internet and technology giants were sketching blueprints for the future of intelligent transportation. Huawei joined this grand undertaking by introducing the in-car module Mi 909T, marking the commencement of Huawei's journey into the automotive industry. You might wonder if this was just an experimental phase. However, Facts demonstrate that Huawei's interest in the automotive sector had already surpassed mere experimentation, while many people discuss Huawei as the chosen one or a beneficiary of timely opportunities, its success is deeply rooted in its proactive approach to research and development, often years in advance of industry trends. In the past decade, Huawei has invested a staggering 1 trillion Chinese yuan in research and development an amount only a handful of companies worldwide would dare to commit. For comparison, Apple, the world's most valuable public company, invested just over 7 trillion yuan in R&D over the same period. Therefore, Huawei's success is far from accidental. This distinctive approach has enabled Huawei to excel in the challenging and capital-intensive field of car manufacturing. Unlike traditional automakers and even new players like Neo, Xpeng, and Li Auto, who follow a closed-loop model akin to Apple and Tesla, Huawei adopts an open strategy similar to Google and Microsoft. Huawei focuses on its core strengths, progressively increasing its involvement based on market development and technological accumulation. Currently, Huawei's car manufacturing involves three main modes. One. Tier 1 Component Supply Mode Asterisk In this mode, Huawei's involvement is relatively low. It serves as a supplier of components such as motors, modules, and LiDAR to complete vehicle manufacturers like Chang'an and BAIC. Initially, Huawei aimed to become the Bosch of China's smart car sector, addressing a significant pain point in the country's automotive industry where indigenous manufacturers faced technological restrictions due to the monopoly of foreign companies like Bosch. Choosing this path allowed Huawei to leverage its expertise in communication, achieve early technological profitability, and provide support for subsequent R&D. From 2013 to 2019, Huawei tirelessly developed all core components required for car manufacturing, ranging from hardware to software.2. Tier 0.5 Huawei inside, HI, mode asterisk in this mode, Huawei plays the role of a comprehensive provider of intelligent automotive solutions. It is analogous to Qualcomm's role in the smartphone industry. In this mode, Huawei's involvement is higher, 
collaborating with automakers to develop intelligent components, including providing autonomous driving systems. Although production is still carried out by the car manufacturers, the core is undeniably stamped with the Huawei brand. The Huawei inside version of the ArcFox Alpha S, launched by BAIC in 2021, is a representative product of this model. For consumers, purchasing the Huawei version of a car like the ArcFox Alpha S meant paying an additional 100,000. While consumers might question the added value for Huawei, the success of the HI mode tied to car manufacturers provided further confidence in their car manufacturing endeavors. Subsequently, Huawei directly applied the HI mode to the Ida 11, jointly developed with Chang'an Automobile and CATL, examining the first and second modes, it is evident that Huawei's involvement in car manufacturing has deepened over the years. Despite Huawei's founder, Ren Jingfei, stating early on that Huawei doesn't build cars, as the company's technological expertise in the smart car field matures, Huawei is merely a step away from fully engaging in independent car manufacturing. The challenge now is to leverage the Huawei brand's appeal and sales channels without entirely becoming a car manufacturer. Under the leadership of Yu Chengdong, Huawei's third car manufacturing mode, the Tier 0 Smart Selection Car Mode, has been born and has now evolved into Harmony OS Intelligent Travel, Hongmeng Jixing. With the introduction of models like the M5, M7, M9, and Smart Selection S7, Huawei, after years of profound involvement in the smart car industry, is entering an explosive phase. Currently, four car manufacturers collaborate with Huawei Harmony OS Intelligent Travel, Salisi, Smart Selection, Cherry, Smart Selection, BAIC, and JAC. It is anticipated that these four manufacturers will collectively produce over 12 models, covering sedans, SUVs, MPVs, and more, the rapid generation of significant attention and the development of numerous models in a short time frame highlight the advantages of Huawei's collaborative approach with car manufacturers. Notably, Huawei's Matrix-style fleet, with models like the M7, has a more extensive user coverage compared to its competitor, Neo, which currently has only nine models. Even though these cars are under new brands, Many users are drawn to them simply because they associate them with Huawei. Reportedly, over 100,000 units of the Smart Selection M7 were pre-ordered within two and a half months, showcasing Huawei's impactful presence and the Harmony OS intelligent travel model. Huawei is heavily involved throughout the entire process. From the design of the car's appearance and interior to the intelligent solutions, brand marketing, and terminal sales, Huawei takes the lead in almost every step. In essence, it's not much different from Huawei independently manufacturing cars, as the role of the car manufacturer is essentially shell construction and assembly. Huawei plans to establish 800 independent Harmony OS intelligent travel stores in 2024, aiming for 1,000 stores in 2025. This strategy is reminiscent of Huawei's approach when entering the smartphone market and the era of software-defined cars transitioning to autonomous driving. Huawei has already established the foundational infrastructure for car manufacturing. This parallels products like the Mate 60 Pro, which marked a milestone for China in breaking free from restrictions on European and American chips. Huawei's car manufacturing model undeniably brings more strength to the entire Chinese automotive industry, allowing it to compete with European and American car manufacturers. In the future, undoubtedly, more outstanding car manufacturing forces will emerge on the Huawei platform. At that point, whether Huawei manufactures the cars themselves becomes less important. In conclusion, the exploration of Huawei's path in car manufacturing is not only witnessing a tech giant's cross-industry move, but also observing significant changes in the industry and the profound impact of technology.
This narrative is not just about understanding the journey of a company but also envisioning a completely new future for the automotive industry. For readers, this is not merely a feast of numbers and technological terms but a profound contemplation of innovation and persistent pursuit of excellence. Huawei's journey into car manufacturing, akin to an adventure, serves as a template for entrepreneurs and tech professionals at every stage of technological evolution and market adaptation, especially as the automotive industry is entering the era of intelligence, China can draw many insights from Huawei's experience. Learning to maintain flexibility in technological changes, iterating and evolving continually, and maintaining sensitivity to innovation are critical to adapting to future trends. Simultaneously, daring to challenge traditional notions and plunging into unknown territories are prerequisites for creating a successful path leading into the future. Ultimately, it's worth asking ourselves, in the face of the new landscape of automotive technology, whether China is willing to be the pioneer who dares to innovate and forge ahead. Let China look forward to, in this innovation storm, more industry leaders emerging, working together to create a future of intelligent travel. The world of future cars is no longer just imagination but a story co-written by China. China